Hello children! Today we're going to read a story Elmer and the Monster. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, has just started his morning walk when he heard a terrible roar. Look out, Elmer! The birds and the small creatures call out as they came hurrying past him. There's a monster! A monster? thought Elmer. Really? He continued his walk. A little while later, there was another roar. Don't go that way, Elmer, said the monkey swinging through the trees. There's a monster! Then they were gone. A monster again, said Elmer. Very interesting. Before long, there was a third roar. Was that you roaring, Tiger? asked Elmer as Tiger Reds raced towards him. Certainly not! That was a monster! said Tiger and he disappeared into the jungle. Fascinating! murmured Elmer and he went on his way. When the next roar came, Elmer was ready for it. Was that a monster? Elmer called out to the crocodiles as they fled past. Yes, a pretty monstrous one, but the, by the sound of it, said crocodiles. Turn back, Elmer, or go on carefully, said Elmer to himself. Soon after that, there was another huge roar and a lion ran by. Nice roar, lion, said Elmer. It wasn't me, said Lion. That's the roar of a decent-sized monster. I'm off to see where everyone's gone, he explained, and he ran off. Almost at once another roar split the air. Come with us, Elmer, called the elephants as they stampede past. There's a monster! I had never seen a monster, said Elmer. You don't have to see it, just imagining it is horrible enough, said an elephant as he vanished after the others. Elmer walked on. The next roar was very close. It shook the trees and sent leaves flying. Cautiously, Elmer moved forward, ready to flee at any moment. He peeped through the trees and then pushed himself into a clearing. There, on a rock, sat a furry creature in tears. Hello, said Elmer. Did you hear that roar? That was me, sobbed the creature. I do that when I'm frightened. Why are you frightened? asked Elmer. I'm just passing through on my way home, sniffed the blue animal. But I keep hearing monsters. Come with me, I'll look after you, said Elmer. Riding on Elmer's back, the furry creature chatted happily until they reached the other animals. Hello, Elmer, said an elephant. Thank goodness you're safe. Who's your friend? Did you save him from the monster? This is Blue Blue, said Elmer. Go on, Blue Blue, show them. Blue Blue opened his mouth and roar! The animals almost jumped out of their skin in shock. Friendly Fairy Blue Blue is the monster you've been frightened of. And these friendly fellows, Blue Blue, are the monsters you were frightened of. You've been all rather silly, but it's quite funny, really. So, laughing at their own silliness and sometimes whispering boo to each other, the animals happily accompanied the monster Blue Blue on his way. مرحبا يا أصدقائي اليوم سوف نقرأ قصة الفيل إلمر. ذات صباح ذهب الفيل إلمر في نزهة إلى الغابة. سمع إلمر صوت زئير. صرخت العصافير. إلمر إنه الوحش. قال إلمر يا إلهي. وواصل في نزهته سمع ألمر الزئير مرة أخرى صرخ القرد إنه الوحش يا ألمر ولكن ألمر واصل نزهته 
سمع المر صوت الزئي للمرة الوحيدة وسأل النمر هل هذا زئيرة؟ رد عليه إنه زئير الوحش وواصل المر نزهته سمع المر الزئير وسأل التمساح ما هذا الصوت؟ رد عليه انتبه إنه الوحش وواصل المر نزهته بتأني رأى المر أسد الغابة وسأله هل هذا زئيرة؟ رد عليه الأسد إنه زئير الوحش ففر الأسد ذاهبا وواصل المر نزهته في الغابة وسمع صوت الزئير فهربت باقي الفيلة خوفا من الوحش وصل المر وسمع صوت الزئير الذي كان قريبا منه مشى المر بتأني ونظر خلف الشجر فرأى وحشا صغيرا خائفا يبكي فسأله لماذا تبكي فرد عليه الوحش إني خائف فقال إليه المر تعال معي سوف أعتني بك ركب الوحش الصغير على ظهر إمر وعرفه على أصدقائه في الغابة أراد بلو بلو أن يحيي أصدقاء الغابة وعندما فتح فمه أصدر صوتا زئيرا عاما ضحك إمر هذا هو الوحش الذي خفتم منه إنه بلو بلو